With the Modern Warfare 3 beta officially over, it's time to talk about my review and my honest opinion and should you buy Modern Warfare 3. Now, I do want to mention with all the videos that we uploaded here on the channel for the last two weeks, I do want to say thank you guys for the support. You guys went crazy on the videos and you guys really, really enjoy Modern Warfare 3 from what all comments I saw and everything on the videos. And in this video, I do want to talk about my pros. I want to talk about my cons and just talk about should you really buy Modern Warfare 3. Now jumping into our pros, we're going to talk about the first thing, which is maps. Now, I played all five maps a little bit. I played Rust, High Rise, Skid Row, Favela, and Estate. Now, the only thing that I'll say about Estate was the flow. A lot of people like to camp, and that was probably the biggest map that I really played. And I didn't touch Ground War. I don't know anything about the Ground War or anything. I wish I would have, but I knew there was a lot of glitches and everything, which, you know, people find glitches really quick. I don't know how they do that. It's like a gift. But I have to say, uh, what, I, or what I saw, you know, Ground War is in a good spot, but the maps need to be just a little bit smaller, and a lot of people like to camp, so I don't know if I'll really like Ground War. Maybe I might throw streams on and try to go for some camo grinds and stuff, but... I have to say, you know, the maps that we got to play are really solid, they're really good, and they actually feel like Call of Duty maps instead of what we've gotten in Modern Warfare 2 and Vanguard, you know, a lot of just more running than you are shooting, which is sad, but that's what really happened in the last, you know, two, three years, you know, Cold War was okay, but Vanguard and Modern Warfare 2 kind of had some of the worst maps, honestly, you know, Modern Warfare 2 has some good maps like Mercado and some other ones, but honestly, I have to say, like, you know, I really didn't have fun playing Modern Warfare 2 just because of the maps. I was doing more running than, like I said, shooting. And, you know, going into our next thing I'll have to talk about is gunplay and the weaponry. The weaponry in this game is insane, you know. This LMG, I basically turned it into an assault rifle with a conversion kit, which is a new thing they brought back from Black Ops 4, which is kind of like an operator mod. It just makes a weapon do something different. You know, with this weapon, like I said, you know, I basically turned it into an assault rifle, higher mobility, better handling for an LMG, which is really overpowered, people found out. And you have the Renetti pistol, which basically can turn into the MP7 SMG, which I did upload. I think that's cool. Is every weapon going to have that? I kind of hope so because, you know, each weapon can have a different, you know, specialty, you know, you know, like the LMG, you know, make it have a high handling mobility, but it be an LMG with high power. That's cool. The Renetti having an SMG style, which is better than the SMGs that we got to play with. So I really hope there is a operator, you know, conversion kit mod for every weapon in the game. Is it making it may take time? Yes, but I just do hope there is going to be a lot to the weapons and with the weapons also you know the time to kill for all the weapons felt really nice you know the lmg of course it's going to be higher damage so the time to kill might be a little bit faster but other than that you know the longer you are from a gunfight and stuff like that you know the time to kill is a lot slower of course but also we have 150 health and it does feel like a cold war time to kill base so if you like cold war you are going to enjoy the gunfights in this game now, the next thing I'll talk about is, like, the grinding factor that we'll be getting from, like, the leaks and rumors. I'm sure a lot of you guys know already, but for the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, if you have Orion and basically completed Modern Warfare 2, you will be able to unlock more camos from Modern Warfare 3. So, there will be some Modern Warfare 3 camos you get to unlock from Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to unlock Orion and everything from Modern Warfare 3. I don't believe that could change as of right now. I don't think that's going to happen. But we also have zombie camos, so we'll have to do all from Modern Warfare 3, all from Modern Warfare 2. And if you are going to be a grinder this year, this is probably the best time that you're going to be able to grind for Call of Duty. You're going to have so many attachments, so many camos to unlock. It's actually going to be insane, and I do like that. So there will be a lot of streaming for me this year trying to unlock all the attachments, all the camos, and zombies, and multiplayer. So that will be a good thing. Also, another thing is, with there's so many pros, it's actually crazy, the UI in the game. Now, we all know that the Modern Warfare 2 had some of the worst UI in Call of Duty history. It was actually difficult. It was more like a Hulu style, which I don't understand that, why they did that. You know, there was actually people on YouTube uploading how to get to multiplayer, how to get to the campaign, and getting like two, 300,000 views. That's actually crazy, and it's also very sad, like how the UI system was. In this game, so far that I've seen, it looks a lot more clean but also still kind of has that modern warfare 2 look still you know going into like the class setups and everything like that which i don't really mind that was pretty cool but you know just getting into multiplayer itself getting into game modes itself it was so much easier to do in this beta than it actually is in modern warfare 2 
I do like that a lot with the UI changing, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to like that. Now, the pros uh, also here is going to be perks. Now, the perk system is cool, and there's kind of like an extra perk, which is like the vest. You have like the infantry vest. You have the gunner vest, the engineer vest. You had like some type of like recon vest with like a ghillie suit. That was really cool. I did like that. You know, it's kind of like a battlefield type thing, which they brought into Call of Duty, and they, you know, did perfect with it. I think it's really good. You know, with the infantry vest, that's all I really used, I know of, you know, you got your tax sprint really quick you, you got to run longer in that which is a good thing it helps you be more aggressive so each one of those vests kind of helps you have a different play style if it's being more stealthy being more aggressive you know being more tactical in a way with lethals and tacticals that is a good thing and then the perks themselves with the gear you had your gloves, you had your boots and sneakers, and you also had like paddings for like EOD, you know, your tacticals, you know, like a battle, you know, like a battle eye or something like that. For, I forget what it's called, like for concussions and flashbangs. And then you had your EOD so you could eat up the nades and not get killed by explosives. I mean, so many good things about the games, like gameplay it will be, you know, with the weapons, the perk system. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more different perks. I've heard there's going to be a a ton of perks so you know if you're something if you're bored of something you can use something different and honestly you're not going to be bored and that's a good thing which i think is going to be good about modern warfare 3 if you ever get bored you you can quickly change something about modern warfare 3 you know get back into it and it's going to be different with the grinding that you're going to have to do you know to play in the campaign getting some rewards i mean you're going to be able to do everything and not be bored which i'm not a big fan of zombies so you know, if I get bored of it, I can go play the campaign, get some rewards, go back to multiplayer, you know, get some rewards there, go there. I mean, you're just never going to be bored, which I think is a good thing. I feel like with the last few Call of Duties, they really haven't done the reward style, which, you know, I feel like personally, if you play the game a lot, you should be rewarded. And I do like that with the camo grind that we're getting this year. You play a lot, you get some of the coolest camos, which I've only seen like the calling cards get leaked and in game, I really haven't seen them. So I do do know there's going to be some like just pure beauties of camos in the game and i'm really really excited to go for them the zombie camos may take a little bit but the multiplayer camos we're not going to have any troubles i do think and if you didn't know like we are getting like modern warfare 2 weapons in modern warfare 3 so if you get bored of a modern warfare 3 gun you can go back to a modern warfare 2 gun i mean the time to kill is going to be different so all the weapons that we use, like the TAC-56, the ISO Hemlock, they're all going to feel different, which is a good thing. And, you know, like I said, you're never going to get bored, which I think. I'm not going to get bored, I'm sure, unless I put, like, you know, three, 400 hours in a month, which, you know, would be impossible. But I'm sure people can do it, and I'm just ready for this game. Now, the cons, on honestly, there's only one, maybe two. Which, uh, the first one would be the spawns. The spawns are kind of terrible. I can't lie on all the maps. Like, even though I was playing a state, I still had people spawning in front of me. I would spawn in front of people. The spawns are probably the worst thing about the game right now, which I'm sure a lot of, you know, other content creators and streamers have probably said already. And then, honestly, the other thing is, like, the hacking. I mean, you know, there's actually people hacking in the beta, which they're, it's honestly some, like, you know little dick energy honestly i mean people are hacking in a beta already that's kind of sad i don't get that so i do really hope like the you know the anti-cheat system really goes into effect this year you know they try to do some new things but they really need to get on these hackers it honestly makes the game terrible like i want to you know play rank play every season try to get to, like to the max rank i can you know and i you know playing against a hacker is just it's not going to be fun 24 7 so i really hope they do get the hacking situation like kind of you know under control this year because i know hacking you know on basically all pc you know, like in just in gaming right now pc hacking and just hacking in general is kind of insane now so i do really hope that is uh, fixed but I have to say I am surprised on the beta and you know I will say you know all these pros I have you know you probably already know this but should you buy Marvel for three 100% yes you know I do you know I do care about everybody and I know if you are you know, gonna play games and all that, you know, I want to, you know, give you an honest opinion about Modern Warfare 3, you know, all the games that I play, I want to give you an honest opinion, and should you buy it or not, and, you know, so far, you know, 
this game is going to be perfect. I mean, top three possibly. And if there's honestly anything that I missed in this video, just let me know in the comment section. I mean, I try to, you know, bring the best and everything. So just let me know if I miss anything. But guys, thank you so much for watching, taking the time and watching this video. And as, as always, you know, you guys stay safe. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, guys, make sure to let me know in the comment section where are some things I miss. All right. Peace.